Hello again and welcome to another Cake-tastic Cakes video. I'm going to show you guys how to make Elsa in her coronation outfit, as you can see here. And don't forget to like if you find this helpful and subscribe so you can find me again later because all my videos are so worth finding again. So I started out with a teal cone uh, with basically a set of boobs on the top. I made it hollow so that it'll dry a lot better. And this brown I'm doing, I just cut out a thin strip to wrap around her waist to make the little belt thing that she's wearing. And next I'm going to take black, roll it out into a long, thin piece, taper off each end, and then flatten the center. That's going to become her arms and the chest part of her dress because she wears that like black shirt under the teal dress part. And the black shows above the bodice. So as you can see here, it's already looking fabulous, coming together very nicely. Once I got that piece in place, I'm going to take another piece of that brown and go over the top of the blue bodice and make a little indent in the center because her dress actually has like a cleavage imprint kind of thing going. So right there, looking awesome. And next I'm gonna make the gloves. It's very light blue in color, just little tic-tac shapes basically. I slice one end and hollow it out. That's gonna slide over the end of the black sleeves. The other end I'm gonna flatten and then cut little teeny tiny fingers out. And don't forget to taper it into the, after the glove part, you know, to make her have wrists and then slide it on the black, a little water to hold it in place and you're good to go. And here I am, I'm adding the neck. She's got a long skinny little giraffe neck on her. So very thin piece wrapped around the lollipop stick is all you need. Next, I'm gonna do the head. Take a small round ball and about halfway down, press indents for the eyes. Make sure they're deep enough, you know, that you're really gonna be able to sink the eyes in because you don't want her looking buggy eyed later on. And then using my tool, I just keep pressing and pressing and I kind of form a nose out of it too. And I pinch the top of her head and her chin a little bit because she's kind of angular. And then stick it on there. This is gonna be the cape that goes with her outfit. I just rolled out a thin piece and cut it kind of wedged like as you see. And I just kept holding it up to her and trimming it away as I saw fit until I liked the way it looked. And you wrap it over her shoulders, make sure to leave that chest part, the black part of her dress showing. This is gonna be going around the neck to hold everything in place. It's just a circle with a slice, as you see, and I pinch it together, flatten off the front, add a little brown medallion to it, and boom, it looks fabulous. Next is gonna be her hair. I took two pieces of very light yellow, she's very pale, and wrapped it around her whole entire head pretty much, like a headband. And then you're gonna take some more of that very light blonde and make little straggly bangs on her. So she has a lot going the one way and a couple going the other. And before you go too far, what I'm doing here is making ears. It's just simply a ball with a little indentation pressed into it. And they're tiny, she has little ears, so there you go. Now I'm gonna make the braid, take three pieces and braid it. That's all you have to do. Measure it up and then when you find a length that looks good, because uh, the customer wanted it over her shoulder for some reason instead of tied up like it really should be. Um, you attach it with a little bit of water in the back. Yeah, if you're gonna have the braid, you gotta attach it first because the other hair will lay on top of it and if the braid's on top, it will not look right. To fill in the hair, all I'm doing is taking thicker strands and just kind of laying it over back and forth and just fill in the whole back of the head like that. And as you can see, the way it kind of overlaps at the bottom, it blends into the braid, so it looks really good. To fill in the rest, I just keep adding smaller pieces until the thickness of her head and everything looks good to me. And right there, looks good. And look at me, ooh, I'm adding eyes. It's just a little bit of white, just a little bit, no bug eyes. And make sure they're a little pointy on the sides. Highlight it with a little bit of black to give her those eyelashes that she has. Put in the light blue eyes, a little red lips and the pupils, and you've got her face. The crown, as you can see, was a circle. I cut in half, a little tiny circle. I cut in half and just made wet, you know, took two little chunks out of it and pinched it off. A little blue centerpiece, and there you go. Glue, glue it with your water in place. As far as the decorations, I just used my food coloring markers and followed what I saw in the picture. I just drew the rest in. I used brown, purple, and red. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time for another awesome adventure.